So before you start thinking of moving to Finland, you should know that all the money where you go make, no be only you get them. You go divide them more than half. You still come more ten percent for tight. Should be you know. The world appears country. The world happiest country. Am I right? Yes, that's Finland. The world happiest country. Yes, so as they have the advantage. I have made a lot of videos about Finland. Many good things. Why you should move to Finland. I have made a lot of videos, if not tons of them. But in this video, I am not actually saying why you should not go to Finland. But what you should know before you pack your luggages or before you start preparing to relocate to finland so as so many country has the advantage or even finland itself has its advantage it has its own disadvantage so be prepared to watch this video to the end so you'll be enlightened and educated about that country you have chosen to want to go let's go Yes, if you are still here, it means you are in for what this information is all about. Well, before I get started, let me introduce myself to you. My name is Samson Pius. If you're just watching me for the very first time, trust me, you are in the right page because here we talk about so many things, life abroad, opportunities, like you just need to go and check my playlist. Check out my videos. I've done tons of videos, podcasts, opportunities, gists, uh, mistakes people make while traveling. This is just all you would wish for in just one. Everything in one. So this is the page. So I want you to subscribe. Turn on your notification button. And anytime I post a video, you will be the first to get notified that something I've posted the video. And you, for my old subscribers, I want to say thank you for always coming back to watch my video like it's it's not easy for the support for the people that always comment like it's because of you i am coming back to always do more videos thank you very much share this video like and um tell people about this channel let this channel go a lot of people here saw me when i started and now we are at this point guess what we are heading to 10k before the end of this year trust me before the end of this year 10,000 subscribers so let's go to what we have for today so you that have always wished to want to go to finland one bad side about finland that you probably don't know is that the tax in finland is very high it's about 67 percent yes that is to say if you're making money you're being you're sharing your your you're sharing your income more than half to the government so you have to think twice before it starts uh, relocating to finland it's seven percent but it has its good side because this is where they get money to pay for their health care for free you don't have to pay for health you don't have to pay for education you don't have to pay for so many things like it is free and this is where they get the money so i don't know if it's unfair or it's fair for everybody to contribute every portion of what they've made to the um to the government or to the country just for free education and free health care but whatever this is working for finland and this is why finland have one of the best schools in the world yes finland's education system is the best if not the one of the best if not one if not the best yes in the whole world so before you start thinking of moving to finland you should know that all the money where you go make no be only you get them you go divide them more than half you still come more 10 percent for tight should be you know so 10 percent minus <laughs> 10 percent minus 67 percent that is what you will be left with you is 30 percent so think twice let's go to the next point what you should know before relocating to finland okay do you know that living in finland is very expensive you need to know this let me tell you how expensive it is i'm going to break it down for you then you should think twice before moving to finland number one 
a loaf of bread in Finland that can cost up to two euros. Yes, just a loaf of bread. Before you get a good meal for you to eat in Finland, like an average of a good meal in Finland is about 12 to 13 euros. So you need to think twice before you start moving to Finland. I am not telling you not to go, but you need to be aware of this, that Finland is quite expensive to live in. Not just that alone, if you are driving, probably you own a car. To buy fuel in that car, a liter of fuel in Finland is cost about two euros. So you need to think twice before moving to Finland. A liter of fuel in Finland is two euros. You can compare it to other countries, like it is very expensive. And even if you want to use a public transport, the public transport can even cost you about three euros just to get a ticket. I don't know, I'm not saying moving to Finland is the wrong idea, but trust me, uh, you need to know this before you start moving to Finland. <laughs> yes, even if you want to buy a car, I heard that just a normal golf car is costing about 28,000 euros, just a normal average golf car. You need to think twice before moving to Finland. Now, why some people from Nigeria go move go Finland? One year they are still struggling. Two years they are still struggling. It's not easy anywhere, huh? Every every country has its own problem. It's not easy. Some people, some people they make them. Some people they struggle until they make them. So, but the point is, you have um, access to free healthcare. Yes, free healthcare. Education is free, internet is there, um, good house, good road. So at least that solves a lot of problems living in Nigeria. Yes, I don't know about other African countries, if you're watching me for other African countries, but my country, Nigeria, it solves a lot of problems. And my country people just want to move. So I'm not discouraging you. Come and see what the goodness of the Lord holds in Finland. Yes, it's God not wonderful. God is wonderful. So um, that's not all. I'm still going to be bringing it small, 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 small. So you should be get, get ready. It's not, it's not always. I, I still have about five, six t things you need to know before moving to Finland. Yeah, come on, come on, a bed, come on, a room or a self con. Is it a self con? Like call it just a room. This is the video. Just a room can cost you about 900 euros it's not really that expensive it's not really that expensive though but i'm just letting you know that just a bedroom in finland can cost you about 900 euros yeah so all these are what you need to consider considering the tax rate and everything before you need to know this before moving to finland let's go to the next point you see your light electricity b your utility bills yes every month your water bill your utilities um, voila your utility bills can cost you around 140 euros yes 140 euros that's what your utility bill can cost average in a month so you need to know how much you are earning before you now start um considering moving to finland yes like you need to know how how much you're earning in finland yes that brings me to getting a job in Finland. Getting a job in Finland can be very a little bit difficult because of the language barrier. Trust me, Finland are die. <laughs> I'm not sure I got it Like Finland is one of the hardest language in the world. So, and if you don't know how to speak this language, it will probably be very difficult for you to get a job that is good for you in Finland. So my advice is more like when you get to Finland, you have to take your time one year and get um, acquainted with the language. Go to the school, learn the language. Only by this, you can be able to assess good jobs in Finland, like especially the tech and people that are entering into this space are doing so, so, so well. I am always encouraging people to always uh, tell their younger ones that they should learn tech because probably 
they don't have the opportunity but i think their younger ones can have the opportunity or even them themselves because it's never too late you can switch your career as i did because i switched my career and you can too so switch your career and move to a tech related learn finnish and you are good to go in finnish in finland yes so um i'm not saying there is no good job in finland but trust me if you want a very good high paying job you need to learn the language finland and the bad news about it is finland is one of the hardest language in the world why is finland one of the hardest language in the world okay according to what i saw i think um i think it has about 15 grammatical variables the action words can be interpreted into 200 variations just one word yes so you have to pay attention to the sound the tone the different meaning but one word so tell me is it easy there are some languages that are close to english language like the spanish and it makes it easy for you to adapt and learn the yoruba in nigeria the Igbo is related to english right but finish it's not like that um, I don't speak it, but this is what I saw, and this is what I read, this is the research I made, and I heard, and I saw that it's one of the most difficult languages. I'm not scaring you, there's nothing that is difficult if you put your mind to it. Yes, so put your mind, and you're going to learn it, and if you learn it, you have a very good advantage. That's why most of my um, videos, I usually talk about vocational schools, because the vocational schools... Even the vocational schools, you have to start with English. Then in the second year, they move, they change it to Finnish. They start teaching you Finnish because they know the importance of learning Finnish for you to excel in the job opportunities in Finland. Yes. Another place that, do, that probably do very well in Finland is uh, under like area of opportunity is the nursing. And for you to do this, talking to patients, knowing how the patient if whatever, probably you're a nurse you're an attendant nurse attendant assistant nurse you need to learn the language and only by this you can be able to get the dream job that you have been praying for you've been wishing for you can start learning it from nigeria then good for you when you apply you can speak finnish and it's good for you so let's go to the next one the next point i'm making here is um, the weather in finland is brought is brut i'm not in finland though, but what i'm seeing the, the the weather is crazy like you have to think twice before relocating to finland i'm not getting you scared but you have to be prepared like the weather can go as low as minus 50 degree like do you know can you imagine what a minus 50 degree is the lowest that nigeria has ever gone based on degree even those times we experienced hamatan I think it's minus it's minus 15 sorry 15 not minus 15 degree or let's take uh for instance your ac 15 16 degree you know how cold it can be now imagine when it's on a minus uh, 50 degree so when you can move to the capital city which is helsinki helsinki uh, can get hotter up to minus 36 so you can imagine how you you're, you're you're thinking a place is hot but it's still on minus like the 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 snow like the ice is really 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 very like very high like it's very cold and it can get so cold to the extent that even the sun will not come out for over is it 40 days or 30 days yes a lot like for like 30 40 days you won't see the sun in the north so i heard in the north i did a video with um, john of finland and he was saying all this and i was like wow yes in the north um you, you probably might not see the sun for like <laughs> you you will not see this over like 40 days like how do you know okay okay let, I'll, I'll take it step by step there are so many things i want to see uh and in the in in helsinki which is uh, the capital city um they actually see daylight the sun is there but sometimes um, they never get to see the sunset or something and like it's by two o'clock okay they, i think they experience a longer night than day 
Yes, a longer night than having the, this. By two o'clock, the nights have start have started. I think that's what John of Finland said. Two p.m. or one p.m. It's dark. So imagine one p.m. You know the sea road again. How do we want to survive in that culture, finding jobs and stuff like that? So you need to know this and how it can affect you looking for a job and how you can adapt to it. And you know, there's something that works with darkness. Whenever there's darkness, there's this sleep that comes with it. So uh, you need to consider it because um, once night falls, me, I feel sleepy. Like it's an M I don't know if it's an enzyme, I don't know, but darkness induces sleep. So imagine when you now have longer nights, that means you go sleep tired for the country. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's 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 on that. I think I'm 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 creating I'm making points from this video. And uh, one more one other thing again you need to know about going to Finland is that um, a lot of people are depressed in Finland. Yes, they have the highest one of the highest um, rate of suicide in Finland. And why is it so? I'll tell you, calm down, relax. You know, because of the cold uh, season, um, everybody stays at home, it's really cold, it's night, no sun, so you can't definitely go out, so you are going to be in your house. And because of this thing, is like loneliness is at high rate, thinking, um, no place to go out, you cannot go visit friends, everyone is isolated, like the depression. Even if this country is called the happiest country in the world, they are very happy and at the same time, they are fucking depressed. Yes, they are really, really depressed because of all this. Now they now start taking alcohol because of the cold and they want to feel, you know, that when you feel depressed, you want to take alcohol and alcohol makes them more and more depressed so it's it's really bad that even the alcohol is affecting them they now have high number of accidents and i think the government is doing something to 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 help um curb that alcoholic and i think john of finland said they've banned alcohol in finland so people that want to take finland people that want to take alcohol have to move to neighboring country to take alcohol like it's crazy like you can't drink alcohol in finland you need to think twice if you're a drunk um, you're a drunkard like you take your alomo bitters your, your dogu bitters when you come to finland bye bye to it you have to take it anymore because of this so um i think i'm making sense if i'm making sense just say hi in the comment section if you are not um for subscribe to my channel this is how my channel is to be is lively please subscribe to this channel i'm gonna every time i'm going to talk relocation opportunities it's not every time this is one of my content and i believe it's gonna help you and subscribe support me share comment like it encourages me and it makes youtube want to share my video to other people yes like the more comments, the more subscribers, the more engagement in this channel, the more YouTube is recommending it to people. So, um, as I said before, um, the country is really, really depressed. So I think the country have started bringing people, like doing some, some games in the snow, where people can now play games, do snowboarding, and en uh, engage or interact with friends and just to curb this depression like depression is real like you don't know what um what we are what we are um opportuned for in nigeria like nigeria does not have all this cold like the weather is cool normal the only thing we just have is bad leaders finish once they take off the bad leaders nigeria is a perfect country like you won't even see me in this country i will just i'll come back home like why am i going to leave like sometimes i wish that that some okay most of my um classmates that have graduated in my school once they are they are done they go back to their country like they don't struggle like to want to extend their visa look for um how to stay you understand once they are done they're like okay i'm going to my country i'm happy like they can't they, sometimes they share that they can't wait to go to their country but look at we Nigerians. Once we are graduating, we start having high blood pressure so that we won't go back. So I won't be deported. We have to start thinking, looking for money to extend visa, looking for weight. Ah, let's do us this thing. Who do us? Who do us? 
So these are the challenges we face too. When you come abroad, you're gonna face it, trust me. So let's go to the one more thing, and I think I'll round it up here. Oh, one more thing, okay. This one is a good news. This one is just a good one, just to share you up. Uh, some people speak English, like some of them speak English in Finland. But it's not in the north, too, in the capital city of Helsinki. So if you're thinking of relocating to um, Finland, you should consider the uh, capital city. Then as um, other countries are, the capital city is a bit expensive, but when you move into the um the, the 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 rural areas like inside is a bit cheaper but the capital city alone can be quite expensive then lastly you should be aware that this country is a very small population populated country the country has a very small population about 5.5 million people 5.5 million people is not even up to lagos like Lagos is 30 million, if I'm not mistaken. So 30 million, 5 million, like a whole full country. I'm not talking about the capital, but Lagos is just 30 million. So we have numbers more than them, a whole lot, like times, times, times 20. So even times, times 50. So basically, um, this is all you need to know. But this video is not to scare you because in as much as um, all these are what Finland is facing, Finland is still an amazing country. Like, it has one of the best education system. When you go, you have, you have access to free education. You have access to free health care. It's clean. Like, you can go and enjoy yourself. Just make money and be okay. Like, everybody is equal because any money you're making is more like you're making for the government. So, there's no need suffering yourself, killing yourself. Because after you suffer, what are you suffering for? If you don't suffer, you get sick. You go to the healthcare free of charge. They do your operation. If you suffer, you still get sick. You still pay for your hospital bill and everything. So what's the essence? And you work so much just for the government to take a large portion of it for theirself, not for themselves, like for the country. So the country has this um, equilibrium between the rich and the poor, which makes everything equal. So they don't have this poverty rate. So even if you're not working, you're okay. So if um, you're having um, financial, some kind of stuff, there are programs and stuff that helps their citizen to, to come up. Like, it's just so nice. It's just so nice. I don't know if it's cool, but if it takes Nigeria to be good, like, if it would take my country, Nigeria, to, to get to this point, but they have to do this, like, take our taxes without eating it, I don't have a problem with it. I don't, I sincerely don't have a problem, but my problem is that they would do this, probably do it, and at the end of the day, they still eat the money. That's just where my problem is. That's the bad leaders in Nigeria. But these people in Finland, they take this money and they do what's right and move their country forward. So in as much as all this, Finland still needs people from outside um, the country. They still have the low and work out thing, they need people, and they would rather prefer people that can speak Finnish. So I encourage you, if you are really interested in Finland, start learning the language. Like, you've been speaking English all your life. I used to say, like, what's waiting, waiting, waiting to not do for your life? So try and explore other languages, learn it, and it will be for your own good. Trust me, you can now balance in that country when you go. Your opportunity will be high. You can speak, you can talk, you can marry, you can, like anything, your life will be so good when you know the language. Yeah, so I'm going to be rounding it up. I hope this video was educative and you learned a lot of things about this country you have been thinking about. It is not a bad country. It has its own good. Other countries, too, have its own. That's U.S., Canada have its own bad side. I'm coming for them very soon. Don't worry. I'll do a video on their bad side so you have to be aware. Okay? So, thank you very much. My name is Samsi Pius. I'll be leaving. I'll see you again in my next video. Good night.